The third school of thought on ethics, the intentions. The question of Immanuel Kant, what is the intention? What is the categorical imperative? Categorically, you always have to act. This is like in you, Immanuel, Professor Immanuel Kant assumed. The question is, what is the categorical imperative that, that must be complied with aspect that we put into AI? Well, the question doesn't end here. The question starts here because what is it? And many current discussions evolve around that. For example, this discussion of children on social media. Do we go for profit or do we go for safety? Or in general, humans on, on social media and on the internet. Or persuasion and education in a political campaign. Do we go to persuade people to come to our side of the political spectrum? Or do we educate people? And what's the role of misinformation? And where's the line? What is misinformation and what is just a clever argument? So. Uh, be very careful what you wish for here. And that actually is the first thing that needs to be decided. And the old is the new here. If you go even back to old Seneca, he already said, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. So you have to make sure that you decide that first. And that actually, since this is an input, the end result is an input into the artificial, into the machine learning, artificial intelligence, we, it goes front and center. And a lot of discussions evolve around that. That's the point where usually people drop the word. Yeah, it's like the paperclip maximizer. So the famous paperclip maximizer, where does it come from? Well, the paperclip maximizers come from a philosopher from the University of Oxford, Nick Bostrom. And what Nick, Nick Bostrom wrote, uh, in two, back in 2003, more than 20 years ago, he said, well, be very careful because it seems perfectly possible to have a super intelligence whose sole goal is something completely arbitrary, such as to manufacture as many paperclips as possible. With the consequence that it starts transforming first all of Earth and then increasingly portions of space into paperclip manufacturing facilities, including us. Like nobody wanted that. Like there was actually no really bad intention here or was there because the intention was actually to just to create paper clips. But then the super intelligence was like, hey, out of all these molecules that human bodies are made out of, you can make a lot of paper clips. So here we go. And that was really not what we wanted to go for. But the reward function or, or the loss function, in that case, it would be really a loss function. <laughs> the utility function, objective function, said that. It just said unconditionally, just create as many paper clips as possible. So it's very reasonable for super intelligence to just convert all Earth uh, into, into paper clips. So be very careful about that function and always ask yourself, WTF? WTF is the most important question here. What's the function? And be very careful about the details of that function, right? And, and the little and the little sub specifications that you have with this function. So for example, I mean the internet is full of these examples and memes. You could just to, to show some for your entertainment, you can ask uh, uh, intelligent AI, how can I burn a lot of calories? And you probably intend that it gives you some, you know, exercise routines or something or some better living. But actually if the super intelligence really gets to the core of it, probably you can burn most calories, if you do like something like that, right? You can burn a lot of calories like at much faster or, or like an application that many people use every day, find cheap gas near me and we expect it to send us to the next gas station. Or like if you really want to find cheap gas near you, then if the AI has not been really well aligned, be very careful what you wish for.